All I ever wanted was a brown skin girlfriend. Real class, gotta keep a happy rat. She in the gym bag. It's not even out yet. Wait, how she even get that? Hey everyone, I'm Aaliyah and welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year. I really do hope that 2021 is a lot better than the shit show that 2020 was. <laughs> so, as it is a new year, I figured what better way to celebrate than with a fashion trend prediction video for 2021. And my voice sounds a bit weird, it's because I'm sick, so... Sorry if my voice is more annoying than usual. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I actually think I'm like quite good at predicting trends. It's like the only skill I have, like... I am the Raven Baxter of Trends. Right, really like, I predict them, but I never like claim them. So like, I never credit for the trends. But yeah, I'm always thinking of trends, me. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get into the trends. So the first trend that we're going to be seeing everywhere this year is tailored vest. Like they just like give off this like early 2000s kind of vibe like I remember like Kim Kardashian she used to sport them all the time and yeah this is going to be a really popular trend and we're going to be seeing them in like different textures we're going to be seeing like leather, denim and we're going to be seeing like your traditional like waist coast kind of tailored vest and with these these are an amazing piece to have in your wardrobe because you can literally wear them on their own as a top or you can also layer them as well to give off like different kinds of looks I also think this will be a big trend as well because I feel like it's the cousin of the sweater vest so I feel like the sweater vest is going to evolve into the tailored vest and also because the Y2K aesthetic is very popular nowadays I really do feel like we'll be seeing tailored vests popping up a lot this year the next trend that we'll be seeing which I absolutely adore are chain belts so in the spring summer Chanel show for this year a lot of chain belts were being shown on the models so I honestly think this is going to be a big trend I've also seen quite a few celebs like Alexa Demi and Bella Hadid sport on them lately so you know if they've got it it's going to become a trend what I love about chain belts is that you can buy them quite cheaply but they make an outfit look very like expensive like luxurious because like the metal so yeah I'd really keep my eyes off the chain belts this year because they're going to be popping off the next trend is another one that I can't wait to happen and that is cowboy boots now, cowboy boots, they're just chef's curse. If you're into like K-pop, like you'll you'll see them everywhere. Like on like the stage performances, like a lot of like girl groups sport them. But I've also seen like um, boy groups start to wear them lately. Yeah, I feel like the I feel like the trend of cowboy boots is gonna come into more like Western fashion. I love about cowboy boots is like, just like spice up an outfit don't they? Like it's, a, it's just like a simple thing that you can add to an outfit to spice it up. So yeah, get yourself a pair of cowboy boots. So the next trend that I think we might see maybe like towards like the end of the year maybe is the flare jean. Now I know everyone is loving the whole baggy jean look at the moment but I do think quite a lot of people will start getting bored of them soon and yeah I think the flare jean will come back in style like there's just like something so beautiful about a flare jean like I feel like they suit like most body shapes and they kind of like just like give you like that like hourglass figure with flare jeans you can like use them in like so many different ways like it can make like so many like, casual looks but you can also dress them up a lot too so yeah flare jeans I think they're gonna make a comeback this year. So you might want to think about swapping out your basic white and black turtlenecks this year for some pastel turtlenecks so, I honestly think like pastel turtlenecks and pastel collar shirts are going to become like a trend this year. Don't know why, I can just vision it. And this is because like a lot of people are into layering these days and with like a pastel turtleneck or a pastel collar shirt, it's a simple way to add colour to an outfit without like committing to like a whole like monochromatic fit or anything like that. And with this, I feel like it's a trend that's accessible to everyone because you can get turtlenecks and collar shirts quite inexpensive. You can get them at like charity shops, Primark, places like that. So I do think pastel turtlenecks and pastel collar shirts will be a thing this year. I have my Raven Baxter visions coming with that trend. So do you know how like fair trend clothing is like a big deal at the moment? I think this is gonna evolve into feather trimmed clothing. So I think this year we'll be seeing like feather trimmed cardigans, feather trimmed jackets, feather trimmed coats. It's gonna become a thing. It's the same for like things like cow prints. I feel like the cow prints evolved into zebra prints and all these other different like animal prints. So I feel like fair cuffed clothing is gonna evolve into like 
further trends clove and I like awful like textures Another trend that I predict will happen this year is fur hair accessories and I love this trend, it just gives me like, you know, like Y2K baby girl vibes and uh, I'm here for it. So this year I expect to be seeing fur headbands and fur book hats everywhere and I honestly can't wait to see that happen. I feel like with like fur headbands like they come and go like, every so many years but I honestly think they're going to be coming back this year so yeah, keep a look out for fur headbands and fur book hats. So this next trend, I haven't seen these pop up anywhere, I've just got like this like strongest feeling that it's going to become a thing this year. And this trend is fingerless driving gloves. To be honest, I only ever really see these like gloves on singers when like they're performing or on like race car drivers. But it's going to become fashion this year, I just know it. And what I love about these gloves is like, they're so simple but like they just like edge up and out for a bit. And like I can imagine them to be quite inexpensive. I have seen them on Etsy. But I haven't seen them in like any like mainstream kind of shops like Primark, um, ASOS, people sort of thing. I haven't seen them anywhere like that. I've only really seen them on Etsy and like um, like fancy dress shops. But I honestly think it's going to become a thing this year. So, yeah. That's like the only trend I'm a bit unsure on. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of my trend predictions. And please comment down below if you've got any predictions for what's going to be trending this year. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Wurzalia and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you very soon in my next video. Goodbye for now. All I ever wanted was a brown skin girlfriend. Real class, gotta keep a happy rat. She in the gym bag. It's not even out yet. Wait, how she even get that?